Hello. Today, we would like to introduce the pest analysis that is a framework of macroenvironmental factors, used in the environmental scanning component of strategic management. Let's go back to the 1960s, when researchers studied model and framework for analyzing the macroenvironment of the firm. Aguilar, in his study in 1967, examined the tools and techniques of macroeconomic analysis by introducing the ETPS analysis, that focuses on economic, technological, political, and social factors. The last one was upgraded by Arnold Brown into STEP, Strategic Trend Evaluation Process in terms of how to evaluate strategic trends. However, it wasn't until 1970 that this framework was really attracted the attention, and widely accepted by researchers and strategic managers under official name of pest analysis, including political, economic, social and technological factors. Actually, the PEST framework has been widely used with some variations by adding some other factors, such as the steep analysis by adding the ecology to the step, or by adding the legal and environmental factors, we have the PESEL or PESTEL analysis. Another variation is the steeple when adding ethnic and demographic factors, or the SLEPT analysis includes social, legal, economic, political, and technological factors. PEST is a simple and useful analysis tool allowing strategic managers to capture a general vision of the firm's macro environment. Up to now, the PEST analysis is widely used with its four basic environments or factors, including The first one is political environment that has a direct impact on almost aspects of firm's activities, by constraining what products and services are allowed and not allowed legally being produced. Main political factors in PEST analysis include Political stability is mainly related to political conflicts and diplomacy of legal institutions. Stable institutions create favorable conditions for business activities and vice versa. Secondly, concerning the laws, some ones such as investment law, tax law, labor law, environmental law, etc., and policies of trade, industry development, competition regulation, consumer protection, form the legal framework of firm's business environment. Firm's understanding and obeying the laws can take advantage of the opportunities created from the legal provisions, and also can take timely measures faced to changes in laws by limiting the damage resulted from ignorance of the business laws. Concerning the extent of governmental intervention, government provides the legal framework and public services to firms, and also it controls and stimulated the firm's activities. So, firms can run more smoothly their business when they fit with the government intervention in their sectors. Other political factors can be considered such as tax policy, trade restrictions, tariffs, regulation, and deregulation. Secondly, economic factors influence directly and continuously affect the firm's activities and development. Some important ones are economic growth, monetary policy, and exchange rate, market orientation, interest rates, inflation, economic development level, infrastructures, and natural resources. Specifically, a high economic growth can stimulate demand by creating development opportunities for firms. Economic development at a high level creates favorable conditions for business development, in contrast, a low level of economic development makes it difficult for firms to survive. A strong currency can make exports more difficult because of high exchange rate, so by affecting the trade balance of the country, that also has some impact on foreign investments. In contrast, high interest rates may hamper investments as firms have to pay more for loans. In addition, high interest rates make consumers tend to save instead of spending by resulting the decreasing demand in the country. Also, Inflation can make an increasing demand for labor wages, which in turn increases costs of firms. Too high inflation discourages savings and raises investment risks, while deflation causes economic stagnation. Infrastructures and natural resources are the input of firms. Good infrastructures stimulate business development, and abundant natural resources provide raw materials for national industries. Other economic factors can be considered such as trade balance, foreign investment, financial system.
The third environment should be scanned is the social environment. In fact, changes in social and culture can affect demand for products as well as employees' personal opinions and attitudes in firms. Specifically, cultural standards and values determine the ways in which employees live and work, consumers' trends to use products and services of the firm, or factors related to the population, population growth rate and age structure determines the consumption trend of society. The young or old population determines the consumption trend of society, the country demographic provides information for the firm's product orientation. For example, the aging population tend to increase the drugs demand while the toys demand is likely to decrease. Also, the higher the urbanization rate, the higher the change in social factors and the tendency to integrate into the international market. Or professional attitudes in each industry form the rational of employees or consumers towards firms in such industry, which can create advantages or disadvantages for firms in producing and supplying their products and services. Other social factors can be considered such as location, lifestyles, family size, ethnic background, health consciousness, culture, and subcultures. The last component in the pest analysis is technological environment. In fact, new technologies reduce costs, improve quality, and lead to further innovations. In addition, technologies and technical innovations can also generate new products and new processes. Online shopping, coding and automations improve the business environment by making benefits for firms and consumers. In general, the more a firm invests in R&D, the more business opportunities will emerge. The explosion of technology in recent decades shortens the technology cycle by increasing pressure for existing firms face to new entrants. And the protection of technology copyrights allows firms to master professional know-how, to obtain sustainable competitive advantage, and ensure their sustainable development. Other technological factors can be considered such as wireless, POS systems, cybersecurity, online databases, debit, credit machines, distribution, and supply chains, AI. In general, these macro-environmental factors are interrelated by shaping the macro-environment, and they can have a decisive impact on business as well as survival of the firm. In addition to pest analysis, this model is also extended to a number of variations depending on practical needs. The main variations of the PEST model are formed by adding some factors such as legal, natural, demographic, social, or international environment. Specifically, legal factors include discrimination law, consumer law, antitrust law, employment law, and health and safety law. These factors may affect firms' operations, production costs, and demand for products and services. Environmental factors and ecology include weather, climate change, geographical location, natural landscape. These factors have a direct impact on industries such as tourism, livestock, insurance. The awareness of the potential impacts of climate change affects the firm's business. Or ethnic and demographic factors related to gender, age, ethnicity, beliefs, consumption habits, income, affect the demand for products and services of the firm. We can add also regulatory factors in the pest analysis, these factors include actions of states and state agencies, international and national standards, local governments, and regulatory oversight and enforcement mechanisms. Society includes culture, customs, and habits of consumers, thereby affecting production and business activities of the firm. International factors include the fluctuations of the world economy and politics, trade treaties, government agreements, non-governmental organizations, which have impacts on the economy of a country and on production and business activities of the firm. Other factors can be added in pest analysis such as intercultural factors, ethical, educational, physical, religious factors, competition, geographical, historical, organizational factors, that allows us to create different variations such as pestle or pestel, pest lied, steeple, slept or spell it. To do a pest analysis, we use mainly secondary data through three basic steps. The first one consists in determining the target industry or sector, 
and collecting macro information related. In the second step, we identify factors affecting the target industry or sector, and distributing an assessment score for each factor. Finally, we analyze and make conclusions about the impact of macro-environmental factors. To clarify how to do a pest analysis, we present here some practical examples. The first one is the case of shale gas industry in Europe. Rue and colleagues established a pestle analysis in 2013, for a comprehensive assessment of risks of shale gas development in Europe. In which, they examined the most consequential risks for companies contemplating entry into the European shale gas market, by identifying six clusters of strategic risks, social, environmental, economic, regulatory, geopolitical, and technological ones. The study was implemented in three particular countries from the questionnaires, including, France, the United Kingdom and Poland. Each of these three countries exhibits strong potential for shale gas development and varying degrees of risks. France has significant reserves of shale gas, but the current ban has stopped shale gas development in its tracks. The United Kingdom has a supportive hydrocarbon culture and strong hydrocarbon regulatory protocols, but endures the backlash of hydraulic fracturing caused seismic disturbances. Finally, Poland may possess appreciable shale gas reserves, are supportive of shale gas development, and they seek to cut Russian natural gas imports, but there is still significant political, tax, regulatory and business uncertainty for investors to consider. For more detail, please see other video on pestle analysis of the shale gas industry in Europe. The second example is the pest analysis of Microsoft. Concerning the economic environment, Microsoft is still recovering from changes over 10 years ago. Then there's the U.S. dollar. It's stronger than many foreign dollars since the recession hit. Although recovery was swift for some companies the stronger dollar has caused some friction. The political environment directly affects the profitability and revenues of any active business. Right now, Microsoft is in a favorable position for political lobbying. Within the last two years, the company has provided more than $10 million towards the formation of political environments. It's not just the economy affecting revenue and profits, social factors have a voice too. Unfortunately, Microsoft hasn't adapted to smartphones easily. Most Microsoft products are built for computers. They put little focus on mobile users. Other businesses are stepping up to the plate that Microsoft has abandoned. Microsoft is a technology company. It develops and distributes digital software. Any changes in the technology industry will affect the corporation. Two major rivals, Apple and Google, keep Microsoft on their toes. Also, Microsoft purchased the Nokia brand but it wasn't profitable. They've created phone hardware and devices, but consistently see a revenue decrease in this area. They're trying, but striking out consistently. Now, we discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of pest framework. In general, a good pest analysis clarifies main environmental factors affecting the firm's business, by contributing to the making decision process of strategic managers. By capturing environmental changes, the firm can profit new business opportunities to adapt to the market rather than resist them. Pest analysis appears particularly useful when firms start business in a new area such as international market. It allows firm and its managers having a general vision on the macro environment for strategic decisions, and quick adaption to a new environment. However, the pest framework includes also some disadvantages. The external factors in the pest analysis change continuously. Sometimes, these changes take place for less than a day, therefore, it is difficult to predict why and how these factors may affect the business strategy. In some cases, these changes can be recognized, but no attention paid in the early stages can result serious consequences on the strategy outcome. The pest structure is simple. Usually, analysts introduce a list of macro-environmental factors, but only some ones influence really the firm's business, a major of them can be ignored at the time of analysis. Also, 
the data collection of the environmental factors is often difficult. This makes the pest analysis expensive both in terms of time and cost. Additionally, updating the pest analysis is also challenging. A good pest analysis requires a lot of information to collect, and when dealing with too much information, analysts are often confused in determining which factors are important and that can lead to mistakes. Finally, the pest analysis is not enough for strategy planning, because it ignores the internal environment and competitive factors. Pest analysis needs to be combined with other analyses to be more useful for firms. Thanks for your views and subscription to HKT Consultant channel. See you in the next video.